Welcome to the newest episode of uh, Snug Radio's Retro Lounge with super duper new logo. Oh yes. Um, okay, so last week the wheel picked Burger Time. Um, so I don't know how it's going to go with the whole show of Burger Time. I have got some bits and pieces. Um, but what I thought we'd do up until about an hour ago, I thought we might start at the worst and work our way to the arcade game. But what I might do is show you what it should look like. And you can see how well or how bad they uh, they converted it for consoles. So, um, also this week we'll be doing something a little bit different in that we'll be using uh, RetroArch, which... Um, will let me emulate arcade machines, which OpenMU does not. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, so this is the original arcade. Maybe I need to get a an overlay that's vertically screened, perhaps. I'll have to speak to my resident artist and uh, see. Uh, anyway, so this is the arcade game. This is the actual arcade emulation of... Burger Time, which is what we'll be discussing today, from 1982. It's a, a Data East uh, product. Oh, and the audio is going to come out of my speakers. That's going to be annoying. So, ah, let's get started, shall we? So basically, oh, it's got no noise at all. I've turned it down. Well, that's not good, is it? Can I pause it? Oh no! Let's do that. Um, okay, so why are we not getting audio? I bet it's because... Yes, of course it is. Because I don't have it hijacked. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk that I would have not got something right? Um, right, let's have a look. Hopefully, it's just as easy as adding it to loop back. Okay, that could be it. That could be it. Let's click on resume. See what happens. Oh no, that wasn't resume, was it? There we go. Now I'm dead. Okay, so... Give her a little chef. And you, uh, oh. you basically have to make beef burgers. That's it. Uh oh. Uh oh. And you get the idea. You run over stuff, and if there's stuff following you, you can make them do that. Uh oh, now you do have pepper, which you can throw on them, a little bit like a power pill. Um, chat room, am I a little bit peaky? Am I too loud? It's difficult to tell because this music's quite loud. And obviously, if you've got a uh, something on. Oh, oh. Crap. Crap. I've run out of pepper. Oh no, not quick enough. Um, let me just turn me down a little bit. See if that makes it any better. Ah, it's on. I seem to be having that same issue. Do you know what? I should have dug out my arcade stick, shouldn't I? Not sure how I'd connect it to the computer. It's been in storage for a long time. Um, but, there we go. Let's see if I can do any better. Let's go again. And then we'll um, we'll play some console versions. And you can see how close, close they get. Or not. Oh, 
I've got the wrong button. Okay, so chat room is saying that they, uh... Let's loop back. So what I can do is I can turn, I think I can turn loop back down a little bit. Let's try 70%, see how that goes. It'll only be this game though, so... Oh! <laughs> I feel like now I've turned it down, it feels... sounds weird. Like it's broke. So Burger Time... Let me start again. Burger Time came out in Japan. Uh, and it was called Hamburger at the time. Um, and it has been ported in. We're not short of versions to port to show you. Um, uh, so it's been ported all over the place. Okay, we may come back. I'm not going to close it. We may come back to that later. But for now, let's uh, invisible it. And let's switch to OpenMU. And we'll start at the very first. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Are all these windows going to be called Burger Time? Oh. <laughs> I bet they are. Bloody, bloody bugger. Right, okay. Um... Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna play uh, a random game where we're gonna open one of these burger times and see which one it is. Okay, that appears to be this one. Okay, it appears that we've we've picked the right one. We've picked the Atari VCS. Look how well it fits that telly. It looks like it was supposed to be on there, doesn't it? Okay, so exactly the same, but let's see how the VH... I mean, look at it. It's going to be stacks of cheese by the looks of it. Um, there we go. I was just wondering what... Uh, Getting my trivia page up so I could see what if there was anything interesting to tell you. I will come back to that. You're not here for uh... what? I'm not even started yet. Okay, let's go right to the top and see if we can squish. I mean, I, I'm, look, I'm fond of the Atari VCS, because, you know, that's obviously the wrong button, okay. Um, but this is a bit dire, isn't it? I don't even know, I don't even know what they're supposed to be. Oh, not, did you notice that? I don't know if that'll do it. Can I get out from under before he comes down? No, he got me! Bastard. Oh, so they do change colour when they get to the bottom then. I noticed that I do have a, a brown burger down there. Let's see. Oh, 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 quick, quick, quick. See, in the arcade game, whatever that, whatever that yellow line is supposed to be, um, they do, like, fall down if you put them, uh, if you run over them, but, oh, I'm up a ladder, am I? Can I get that? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Come on, we've got to get at least one. You gonna walk across? Are you gonna walk across? Yep. Yeah. Oh! 
Do the other things. I don't really know. Oh, crap. Nope. And I suppose I should be a bit generous and, you know, back in the days, and I'm sure I've said it once and I'll say it again and again, we played Atari for hours. Oh, peppered one of them. We've got another. One last man. Can I make? Yes, I can. Look, look, look. Oh, oh. What's wrong with my pack? Why is it? There we go. Need them to come up here so I can pepper them. So you... Look. You couldn't get down that ladder quick enough. Gosh darn it. So two burgers. So, all things considered. I mean, they look like burgers when they're on the on the plate. They didn't when I first started. Should we have another quick go? Give the Atari its due. Uh, let me just pull the chat room to the front just in case... Anyone's got anything uh, to add? Um, so, d I mean, I remember when the wheel spun last week, uh, at least one person in the chat room uh, said they'd never heard of Burger Time. Um, oh, crap. What have I done? that egg. Oh, no, missed it. Oh, is it going to ignore me? Oh. <laughs> okay, good. Um, oh. So if you have any experience of um, Burger Time at all, then uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, drop us a, a note in the comments below. And if you're following us on Twitch, then, uh, well, well, the same thing, I guess. Leave us a comment. These, these things that are sticks, though, are a bit rubbish, aren't they? I think they're supposed to be pickles. I think you fight a pickle, an egg, and a sausage. So that's all I can think they are. All right, Pickle. You're going to come down here as well? No, you're not. Oh, crap. Same. Pad's just making me go a little bit too high above the... Uh... Yes, yes, I'm blaming my tools again. This should be played with a one-button joystick. Okay. Two boigers. Bastard, got me ankle. Come on, I've got enough men to do at least all these burgers, surely. Come on. Come on, Peter. Oh, no, 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 you're supposed to pepper the other way. That way. That's it. Whoa, crap. So, fine, how do you do? Ah. Must be the way my thumbs are holding the pads, because I just can't get up and down the ladders very accurately, for some reason. No, stop. Oh. But I don't have any now. I'm not going to get down there quick enough. Crap bags. That's right, I'm just not happy about it. Nope, I've got no pepper. So can I, are you going to go up? Yeah, right, okay. So can I follow you now? I need 
to get down these steps quick. Oh, no, still no. Yeah. No. Oh, I walked into it. that orange square down there as well and I wonder if that's supposed to be a sausage right I'm dead three three burgers better than no burgers uh, so there you go that was burger time on the Atari VCS or the 2600 uh, if you prefer the numbering system. So, what's next on my list? Hmm, depending on which screen I pull up, it should be the ClecoVision. Ah, uh, ClecoVision. There we go. So. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's handy. I didn't even have to change that. It changed itself. Okay. Burger time on the ColecoVision. And of course, of course we're picking one, aren't we? Because why would we not? So as you can see, the big selling point of a ColecoVision when when we first, wow, they're fast, shit. Whoo, <laughs> it's rock hard. Um, it, was, it was sold as being arcade exactly like the arcade um which it came with donkey kong i mean donkey kong was its well shit uh, it was its impact game it actually came with donkey kong and that was arcade accurate um and these guys are a lot more vicious because I'm struggling to get away from them. Whoa! And they and they look like they're coming for me. They actually feel like they're chasing me, whereas the other guys followed a set pattern. Um, there's no way I'm going to get three burgers at this rate. Holy crap, Banks. Gonna end up using all my pepper up. I didn't mean to go sideways then, the controller just did it for me. Now, I haven't noticed whether if they come down a ladder, they go back up a ladder. Um, so if you notice that, let me know. Oh, don't know it. felt a lot harder maybe even harder than the arcade oh, how do you reset this oh. oh there's some combination of buttons that I've got I don't know what I've got set but I press the buttons and all of a sudden it asks me if Dropbox wants to screen share it's like uh, no Tell you what, let's just do the reset button that you guys can't see. There must be a way of doing it with your pad, but oh, we've got to have another go. Oh, 
Oh, didn't want to go that way. Feels like maybe now that we're uh, doing this, oh, fucking fuck, doing this regular, then uh, we might want to invest in a better, better, different gamepad. Tits. I should have actually checked um, that now we've switched over to rec uh, now we've switched over to open MU. Are we uh, better audio wise? Or I think I think we're pretty much dialed in with open MU. I think I think we should be all right sound wise. Now I'm just running away. Yeah, bastard. Yeah! That's what you get for being smug. Standing on a piece of lettuce. I thought I'd got it with that piece of lettuce. That one will chase me. It's gonna go right. Oh yeah, bloody controller. <laughs> How did the egg escape? Pfft. Look at that, nearly got four burgers then as well. Yeesh, yeesh. Um, so, burger time on the ColecoVision, or ColecoVision, if you're English. Um, I can't remember, because I, I had the ColecoVision. I can't remember ever playing I don't know if I had the cartridge of this um but yeah there you go um oh there you go so it was it was um it was data east that on the license but it was um distributed by uh Bally Midway there you go Well, in fact, there's two different versions of it, uh, but they're exactly the same. But Bally Midway and Data East both released their own versions. Well, why? Why did they do that? They were just fighting. Ah, okay. So, then, let's get rid of... In fact, let's not get rid of. Let's just switch to and see if that's better. Um, we're going to do another, another first. Not only are we doing handheld today, but we're doing um, sorry arcade. Not only are we doing arcade, but we're doing handheld as well. So let's start. You see, I've got, I've got. Ah, oh, that might be the SNES. Right, so we're doing some Game Boy ones. I'm not sure how these are going to look in the uh, in the capture window. Um, it hasn't pulled it across, which is a shame. So we're going to do Burger Time Deluxe on the uh, on the Game Boy. So I might have to alter the. Uh, the resolution of it a little bit. Let's see. Tell you what, I'm just going to pop it right in the middle because I think if you start blowing up um, the the screen size of a Game Boy, you're in, you're in trouble. 
So, Big Time Deluxe. I imagine it would be very similar. gonna go the other direction. Bastard. Let's get right to the top, shall we? So you got two sausages on that, so that should go right down to the bottom. Right, well, it's not as difficult as the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bugger. Shouldn't have gone that way. How does it look on the stream? It looks kind of cute here. It looks all right. Oh, was that not enough? Oh god, I did it. Phew. Okay. I think this is the first time I've completed a... Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. run out of pepper at this rate. Far too extravagant. Whoa. Starting to do a bit of up and down here again. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, shit. Go on, two sausages. Get in there. Oh. Pepper. Oh bugger. Okay. Well, oh, are we going to continue? Yeah, let's continue, shall we? Did that continue or did that start at the start? Looked like it started at the start to me. There's no continuing there. A load of shine. Come for me, go up the ladder. Down the ladder even. Oh, hey, look at that. Squash them both. Get in there. Oh, that sausage just came straight out. It's not very fair. So, that should come down there and follow me, shouldn't it? And then bounce them all to the floor. Oh, no. I think in the arcade game, two of them to bounce it all the way to the bottom. Ooh, that nearly got me. Ooh. Gonna get trapped now if I'm not careful. I see I'm getting pepper every time I do that. Who knows? That should be it, is it? Oh hey! Uh, greetings to everybody uh, who's joined us since we started. We're uh, we're looking at the different versions of Burger Time tonight. Uh, feel free to join us in the chat room if you like, and. Um, 
if you've got any experience of burger time, let us know. Oh no, I see, all the ladders are indifferent. Is it gonna go up? Nope. I'm trapped now. Yep. Didn't concentrate, did I? So, by my reckoning then, if I can uh, just do this one. Oh. Fucking shirt balls. Right, both of us gonna go up. Nope. Oh. Oh, I don't have any pepper, so... Quick, quick, quick! Whew. I mean... It uh, feels ironic that this is the one that I'm doing the best at. them both. Take that. Oh, I've no pepper left. I should keep track of that, shouldn't I? Really? Right, what's the, what's the best strategy here? Is it to uh, get these? Oh, 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 quick. Yep. Oh, now what? Well, okay. So that, that was all right, that thought it wasn't bad. There you go. Burger Time Deluxe on the Game Boy. I actually thought it was the Game Boy Colour, but maybe I'm emulating it in the wrong. But let's not worry about it, shall we? Uh, because... Because now seems like a good time uh, to move to... Uh, because, because Burger Time spawned a number of different options. Options? There were a lot of games that looked like it. And uh, it even spawned a sequel, but I can't get it to run, so I can't show you about it. I can't show you it. But, let's take you to... I don't want to tell you where to, because it'll spoil it. Let's at least get the screen on first, shall we? Let's switch to... Where are you, uh, you little bugger? There we go. Let's take you to... Bedrock! Because, strangely enough, there was a bit of a crossover with, um, with Burger Time. Um, welcome to... The Flintstones! Burger Time in Bedrock! For the Game Boy Colour. Oh no, he's late. He works in a quarry, I don't quite know. But let's see how they work burgers into it. Ah, uh, he has to do burgers because he's late. Yes, yabba dabba do indeed. So it does sound like cleaning up. This is it's burger time. But there we go. Yeah, there's no cleaning up here. You're making beef burgers. Vaguely dodgy controls. And you don't have uh, pepper this time, you hit him with a club. Jackass. And it doesn't look.
Ja. Tits. So the chat room saying they didn't have the rights to the uh, Flintstones music. Well, they were kind of playing it at the start, but it's certainly not Flintstones music now, is it? Ganged up on me then. Yes, we're continuing. Still not feel that's a continue. I feel like that's just started it again. See, in the normal burger time, with those two people on it, it would have taken it all the way down to the bottom. Whoa. Oh. oh look, I know I say it a lot, but bloody controller. Oh. Well I'm glad he knocked him out because I wasn't aiming downwards. So I'm glad it actually accepted it. Ankle again. Well, I think we've seen enough and definitely heard enough of uh, the Flintstones at Burger Time in Bedrock. It wasn't initially part of my um, collection of things that I was going to play, but then I saw it and I thought, Do you know what? I have to. I've got to play it. Um, so, oh, what's that one then? Have we played that one? Yes, that's a collector vision one. Let's close that. And let's do... Um, I've got two more before we go back to the arcade. Um, one of them is really burger time. And we'll get to the other one later. Because I have not played it. But So... We're going, um, what do we just play? Game Boy and Game Boy Color. So we're going back in time a little bit, back to the NES. Um, where's my Streamlabs window? Here we go. Uh, and we're going to look at the NES version of Burger Time. Um, and how am I going to know which one it is? It's the one with the underscore. There we go. Ooh, oh, oh, look how big it is. Oh, Ness, what are you doing? Let's, sh let's shrink you down a little bit. So that the, the boys and girls at home can see you. There we go. So let's see how the uh, the NES version plays, shall we? Um, it looks pretty colourful. Not sure about the green round the outside of the burger. Maybe they're veggie burgers. Maybe it was before its time. They look quite fast though. Look how fast those bloody sausages are going. Oh, oh. let's try it. Oh, got, got burger time music. Oh. Okay, they might move quicker, but so does he. That's good. Oh, he says as he gets sausaged in the face. 
That's not a phrase you hear every day. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I couldn't move then. I wonder if my pad's going flat. Again with phrases you don't hear every day. I'm getting ganged up on, I can see them all coming for me. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's so fast. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought that egg was on that burger then. Mm. Mm. Not going to make burgers at this rate. Crap, I walked into it. Let's get that top back. Might get a sausage as well if I'm careful. Sausage and an egg. It's going to be quite the bat. Oh, crap. Oh. I run out of pepper. I did, didn't I? Okay, so I'm obviously crapper at that than um, <laughs> the other ones. Let's have another go. Ah, some, some machines want you to press that, others want you to press a button. Right. Oh, I was hoping to get that sausage then. Oh, I can't move down! I realise you should get the... Oh, oh my, da my down's not working properly! Ah! Ah! Run away! No, don't, don't, don't. Ugh. When I die, that's it. We're not playing any more of this NES one. Not because it's not good. I think it's it's a very good, um, very good replica of the arcade version, considering the NES. I never had an NES um, in my youth. I was a, a Atari, then a Sega person. Oh, oh no, no pepper. What are we going to do? Shit. Let's drop the lettuce on him instead. Oh, it's so fast. Help. Come on, down. Work, 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 you shitbag. Oh, for God's sake. No pepper, and I've still got two men left. Very disappointed. That egg's a chaser, chasing me. <sighs> Gur. This is the most Nintendo way of all pads as well, it should work fine. Stitch that. Oh, don't let me down now. Oh. I was just walking down that ladder then going, oh, shit. Oh, no. How got my spot? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, that wasn't fair. It just ran into me. That's it, is it? Yeah, game over. Okay, so, that was Burger Time on the NES from 1985. Um, so when you're doing 
um, when you're looking for different versions of Burger Time to play, then uh, it's amazing the things you come across. So I'll tell you what we'll, we'll sh <laughs> what I'll show you now is I found a homebrew, um, which I think is going to be exactly the same. Oh, hi, shrap shrapnel, please. Welcome. Welcome to the Snug Retro Lounge. Um, as you can see, with burger timing, I'm glad to hear that um, that we, we triggered some memories. Yes, it has got a distinctive um, a tune, hasn't it? Uh, but here is the <laughs> beef drop. I kid you not. Um, so I have a feeling that we know exactly what we're going to get with this. But let's have a go anyway, shall we? Let's see what it looks like. Uh, this is... Um, it's it's a homebrew game, but it's written to be played on the Atari 7800. So this is the 7800 version of Burger Time. We're not playing... Uh, yeah, that's it. There we go. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, referee. Yeah. It's it's uh, a lot. <laughs> it's not as manic as that bloody um, NES version. Holy crap, bags! Get all three. Oh, all right. Ah, uh, yes, shrapnel plays. It's uh, definitely, definitely a simpler time. Um, when burger time was around. Or was it? Or did we just think it was? Because we were young. Don't know about yourself, but I was, uh, well, for most of 1982, I was 11. Um, only getting to 12 uh, in December of 1982. So, I did spend a lot of time in arcades. Uh, at that time uh, because oh uh, got my hat is that sausage going to go up there it's not I'm going to pepper it then instead So we, we stream um, retro games in the in Snug Radio's Retro Lounge from uh, 7 o'clock UK time every Monday. And we've been covering uh, generally an assortment of why I can't, oh, I can't move down again. Uh, an assortment and this the show is different this week because uh, we have a wheel that's uh, picked all versions of Burger Time. Um, but our first couple of episodes, it was kind of random. Ah, I walked into another sausage in the face. And we're just, uh, we're just trying to enjoy certainly the consoles of my youth. Um, oh crap, can't go down again. Oh, should have done that. There we go. Um, mostly Atari. Uh, under Atari's, Clackervisions. Um, 
But obviously, since... Uh, since becoming an earning person, <laughs> I've uh, I have bought... I do have, tend to have uh, a lot of consoles uh, and a couple of arcade machines. So, um, yeah. Oh, I thought I'd done it then. Disappointed. Um, or I just noticed some writing in the chat room. I'm going to get to it in a sec. I just need to. Whew. So it's uh, we've got a 90s kid in the house, right? Since it's a tiny bit after my time, but um, I'm assuming those green things then are pickles. Oh, egg on my face. Way, the way into gaming, a Game Boy. Perfect. Sausage. I don't know how I got away with that. Oh. Nope. Let's go the other way. I've just noticed they're all over the place, these burgers. I don't know. Oh, come on. I appear to be trapped in a... It was that point, so was that another pepper? Try and thin the herd a little bit. then it's, oh no 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 this way jackass um now would be as good a time to any to say if you have any games you'd like us to cover uh, uh then you can either uh just mention it there in chat and we'll get it on the list i've run out of pepper um, you know, if it, I mean, we'll have a look at it even if it doesn't fall into our wheelhouse, but I think most games would fall into our wheelhouse somewhere. Um, or you can email us retro at snugradio.co.uk. No pepper, keep forgetting about that. Run, 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 run. Um, we happily look at anything. We have, uh, when we get to the wheel, I'll describe some of the categories of show we have. 
Nah, I'm dead. Um, let's have a look. Wow, okay. Okay. It's definitely a youngster in the house then. Um, but, uh, but... Oh, well, there you go. 2600. You can't go wrong. That was my first console. But unfortunately, I actually got it when it was out. So... Um, but welcome. It, it's good to have you. Um, so, we're done playing Beef Drop. It's only wanted to see what it was like. And it's an exact copy. I guess it's just because there isn't a burger time for the 7800. Um, okay, let's close that then. And let's return. Let me just make sure I've played them all. Okay, we're going to return to the arcade. To Retro Arch. Boom, there we go. The the weirdly vertical. Um, am I missing anything off the top? I'm not. So let's put that like that. One last go, and then I've got I've just got a couple of, you know, we could just have a random bits and pieces uh for the last half hour or so. So here we go with the proper arcade version. To end the burger time section. And I wonder if it plays any different now that now that I'm used to all the other ones, if it's a little bit like, oh it's easier or harder or what? Oh no. <laughs> Still rock hard. Oh. See, look at that, look at that, nearly a full burger made all at once, that's what we're talking about, that's what we want, crap, oh bloody down on me joystick, oh. I say joystick, I actually mean joypad, up oh, works fine, bloody thing, come to daddy, there we go, now down, down, no, There you go, that's my 10 pence spent. Quarter to you Americans, but 10 pence spent. Oh, let's have another go. Just to... Uh... Okay, that's that hot key for screen recording that I've got set up somewhere for some reason that I don't use. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Say, I'm using pepper with wild abandon. Again, stupid, stupid. Well, I know I should go for the ice cream, but I want to get me four burgers at least complete. Men for the Atari, so which attack for the 2600? 
I don't remember a, an X-Men for the 2600. I'm certain we can find out. Game over. Okay, so we we done. We done there. Um So What was the other game that I pulled out? Oh yeah, another one of the um the homebrew ones that I found while I was messing about. It is um the Donkey Kong esque video game from Wreck It Ralph which which I thoroughly enjoyed, I must admit. Um I mean it's basically a retro gamer's dream wreck it Ralph, innit? Um so let's find the window and let's uh, see I can see that it's too big for starters. Let's try and slide it in there. Okay. Fix it, Felix Jr. So we've done burger time. I think I think we're quite full of burgers. Um, and we're going to try some different, uh, last, you know, some random stuff before we uh, finish. And after we've had a go at this, we'll, um, if you can narrow down which version of Atari you want, we'll have a look at X-Men for Atari. We're here to serve burgers by the looks of it. Uh, is it possible that I've, you're not seeing all the screen? I might have I might have cut some off there. Sorry. I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things. But is it Donkey Kong esque or is it more Rampage esque? I think it's probably. It's like the opposite of Rampage, isn't it? And for those of you not familiar with Wreck-It Ralph, this is uh, the game that was the arcade cabinet which Wreck-It Ralph stars in until he uh, decides he wants to become a good guy. see you play as fix it felix um i'm just trying to remember how this what i can fix it okay how do we fix it oh okay no we don't want the bricks to hit us that's that's fine Okay, nearly there. That's the thing about arcade games is got to be easy for you to pick up. You put your money in, you go, oh, I can play that. And then... I'm just worried that in one minute it's going to get really difficult. But at the moment, all I'm doing is moving around and hitting the button. What? Oh, hit. Button, button. Button, button. Now, strangely enough, I do have a scale version of this that I got um, when we were in Florida once at the supermarket. Imagine my delight bringing home a mini arcade machine. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I see something up in the window. Oh, oh, I've just noticed the shutters. Nah. That's why I couldn't get anywhere. Wait, what have I missed? Oh, no, I haven't. Can 
I get that pie that's in that window there? Or does it just knock me off? Do I get, like, extra help or something? Oh, I've just noticed I've not even started my drink yet. And we're nearly finished. Oh, I see now. Ducky now. There we go. Oh, oh. Didn't notice that then. <coughs> there you go. Just a little bit of... Uh, fix it, Felix. Uh, you were expecting tonight. Ah, there you go. That was on. Uh, that was part of the homebrew section when you download um, OpenMU, which I fully recommend. Um, one of the tabs is homebrew, and it takes you to a little shop where, uh, don't worry, it's free, and you can download stuff. So. Oh, in the arcade! Oh, there you go. I didn't, I didn't see that one, but there was a, there was Peter Pepper's Ice Cream Factory, which um, would have been a good one. We might have to do a follow up and uh, do that again. There were also clones. Obviously, we've seen Beef drop, but uh, there was one for Mister Wimpy. If you're a person of a certain age. Um, Mr. Wimpy. There you go. Anyway, enough about burger time. Enough, I tell you. Uh, okay, so... Uh, do you know what? I would have liked to have played a little bit of it before I embarrassed myself showing it to you. But let's... Um, here's another one of the um, the homebrew ones that um, we'll, we'll have a little go at before we uh, before we get to the wheel. Ha, open MU, come on. There we go. It's called D-Pad Hero. Okay. Um, have about as much rhythm as you would expect for a white bloke. So, let's... Um, Yeah, it's in the middle of the screen. Ah, I can't seem to get it the right. It's a weird dimension. But that will do. Because I don't know how long we'll be playing this. Um, let's see. Start. Is this a tune? Or who are you playing as? Okay, what am I gonna have to? How many buttons am I gonna have to press? Right, which which one's that? Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, is that backwards and forwards? No, it's the buttons. What? What's back? What? <laughs> oh, hang on. Do I have to pro? Oh, sh shit, bags. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, no way. No way is that happening, my friend. Yep, you have to press the corresponding button with the... <laughs> ah, no. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have put this on. Nope. I'm sorry, we're done. <sighs> Frightening. What are the tunes though? Let's see what it comes with, shall we?
there you go. I wish you could say it was me doing this. It's not. However, put me on Beat Saber. I'm not too bad. Well, that's easy because it's a lightsaber. This, you have to do... hitting minimize on that and away it goes yes um okay so um it seems to me that uh we've done what we set out to do tonight we've looked at burgers lots of them lots and lots of burgers so um i think we're getting to the time of the show where we're gonna do this and we're going to spin the wheel. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, next week's show is decided by this inanimate object. And we have things on there. We've got genres where we look at uh, different games within a genre. We've got uh, SGDS, which is what we've done tonight. Same game, different system. Uh, well, looking at, well, the only two left on the wheel are Centipede and Asteroids. Then we've got IHMP, I have never played. And this is where I have my massive gaps in my um, in my game playing knowledge will get filled, kind of, as we, uh, we play some of the games in a series of which I've not played anything. So it's time to spin the wheel. And I always try and spin it from that screen and I never can because it's not the right screen let me have a look here we go uh, this will also have audio that you can't hear but I can all right so next week's show movie oh you can't hear that either movie ter movie tie-ins ah oh, this is gonna be a first parter because there's tons of them uh, so, we're playing games from any of the home consoles and arcades um, based on movies. So, if you know of a movie game that you want us to have a look at, then uh, retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website if you want to go and see uh, our podcast. We do a show every Wednesday night um, that we've, we've been doing for nearly 18 years. So if you want to hear me and my uh, co-host yabber on for, uh, you know, an hour or so, then uh, join us on a Wednesday at half past six. All the information's there at snugradio.co.uk. Wow, look at that movie tie-ins well I'll uh, look forward to starting researching that tomorrow oh it's a long weekend as well prank holiday Monday so if you're back from your Easter holidays then uh, join us next week at 7 o'clock for, uh, for the movie tie-ins uh, one so it only remains for me to say thank you ever so much for joining us don't forget, Mondays at 7 o'clock, we're always here. If you could follow us, that would be great. And if you're watching on uh, YouTube, then just subscribe. Subscribe would be good. Or, you know, you drop us a comment. We're always interested to know what you're thinking and um, how we can improve. You know, it's only episode four. So let us know and join us and tell your friends all about it. Uh, until then, I have been Math, and this has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>